Hello guys and welcome to episode 10 of my Berezina campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Today we are defending against the 2nd Battalion of the 9th Guards Mechanized Brigade as they initiate attack against Grupa Lindl and we are going to be helping defend with the 80th Flak Regiment. That's going to be the only reinforcements we bring in here as I don't want to overinvest and leave other units undefended. So that's uh, the defense we are making. Uh, let's just press tactical battle and see what comes in to help out. In phase C they will have access to tanks but I don't think we'll let it get to phase C if they do. Uh, so any real things we have to worry about are in phase B and that's just a lot of artillery and some infantry. Uh, I'm just going to double check the infantry here to see if there's anything that might be surprising. I don't think so. It's just Avtos, Resvedka, all that good stuff. So yeah, we should be fine. Oh, they're actually just going to bring an aircraft. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> we have our AA anyway. So let's jump on in. Yeah, they're going to be using two air regiments. This might actually be over quite quickly. And it is, in fact, a breakthrough defense. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's certainly going to be easier. I thought maybe it wouldn't be a breakthrough defense, but that's okay. We got plenty of these 88s uh, that we can use. These are the captured Russian guns. So we'll just place these down as usual. Since I don't have fortifications to place down or anything, I'm just going to do this on the fly, similar to how we had it before in the previous episode. There we go. That is pretty much all of the big guns down. And we do in fact have 37 mils to help us defend this time around which are better than 20 mils in a lot of ways because they can fire at ground forces from further away so that's going to be pretty handy. Uh, we'll put a couple here. I might put a couple here and uh, I'll put a couple on the right as well. Doesn't matter too much if they're out in the open. Actually, breakthrough defense could make it more difficult. Um, actually, no, because they didn't bring in any infantry in phase B. If they'd brought in one of those artillery regiments in phase B, and then it could have made things difficult because of what would have then happened is all of the artillery would have come in at the start of phase B and started killing off a lot of the AA units, which would have been kind of annoying. But yeah, here we just need to get all these 37 mils down and these are going to act kind of like our AT guns at range. Uh, saying that, I'm probably going to have to make sure <laughs> that my AT-8s act as the AT bunkers because I don't have like 37 mil bunkers, for example, that usually kill all the transports. So we're going to have to make sure that my 88s do it. Which they kind of were before, but I'm going to have to make sure they are positioned correctly in order to do so. Yeah, I might have to put one up here, for example. Okay, that's fine. We'll have uh, plenty to cover them anyway. This is ridiculous. The amount of 37 mils we have. <laughs> All right. Uh, then it's just going to be like Lefoff Jäger, like in cover. And we could set up quite a large uh, leader network. So let's do that. We'll use the battery fjord there. And I'll probably have one here. It's pretty important that we have one for that 88. I don't mind the battery fjord being out in the open too much, honestly. Uh, but we can put like a commandant in the middle of these two. Just need to make sure that's within 1,500 of those. And um, we're going to need some units here, of course. Uh, so we'll just put them like so. And I'll probably have a bunch of like 20 mils here. 
just to kill anything that decides to come through. Cool. And they'll all be two star veterancy, so they'll do a lot of damage. Uh, then we have the Luftwaffe Führer here. We need uh, the Marie Führer here. And then probably the Commandant in the middle. And I'm probably going to place down machine guns if I have them. Do I have any machine guns? I have an MG34 there. Put that in the windmill. Hmm. I mean, most of these can come in with transport, so I don't think I have to worry too much, but it's just something to consider. Let's uh, remove that and make sure I have the leader on the right hand side. We'll just bring in the extra units to fill the gaps after the start. Get things on the way. That's absolutely fine. Oh, hello Zuchok. If we give that more veterancy by moving it closer, then we'd probably be in a decent spot. Okay, good. The 88s are more or less doing their job, so that is fine. And as soon as we have more points to use, I'm probably going to spend it on the Schuberführer. We'll put one in between these two Barrenführer so that we can connect the commander. But that one doesn't come in with a transport, so we'll do it with a battery fuel instead. Oh, it's already a mortar firing away. We're going to want to deal with that if we can. Going to bring in a couple IGs here. A couple IGs here as well. And then I'm going to need an, that leader unit in between. I think we have one more battery fielder here that I can use. There we go. We'll just uh, place it in the middle of the field there. Well, we did manage to shoot down a Boston, which is good. Uh, I'm going to need more and more of these, though. And I don't think they come in with Brooks. So that's uh, something I'm going to have to work on. Hmm. They also do seem to have a reasonable amount of artillery. But I guess I can just have my tigers come forwards and kill them, so... We'll do that. Have our tigers moving on that right hand side. If they come in on their own, uh, they'll probably get killed. Yeah, Suchak went down. Good. I'm going to move the Schuberfjorda to the edge of the tree line just so that we can spot stuff. That artillery is a pain though. How could we deal with that quickly? I mean, the safest way is certainly the Tigers, uh, but I'll probably bring up a couple Pioneers as well to sort of go with them. Maybe the Fusiliers would be better actually because they are recon. And I'll get a Pioneer to move in there. We get a few Flammenwerfers to move into that position. Ah yes, because they are disheartened, they are going to auto fall back, which is a bit awkward. Actually, I guess it's kind of a good thing. Uh, 
in some ways because it means that the artillery won't be spot on the whole time like if I don't pay attention to that unit for a little while I could use an IG on the right uh, let's bring in a couple here that can fire infantry in the open and I'll bring in like a Fusilier squad there as well I'm going to have this tiger do this and this one's going to just drive up and kill that 82 mil. Could be risky because if they've got AT guns uh, they will be at the back side of the map. But killing the mortars is important to just stop them from killing our own uh, units. This one's uh, way too low. Start moving it back. <laughs> oh, I jinx things every time. Every time. Alright, let's move this one back. Because <laughs> it's on 3 health. Move this one to the side. <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous timing. And the pioneers could probably just go to the town, and then we'll have the the fusiliers be the ones actually to push forwards per se. Got down another P2 on the left hand side there. I sunload these and, and push them up with the tiger. Looks like that left side is uh, very deadly for those P2s. See if we can take back that point in the town since we are investing in this side. And I'm probably going to bring up a unit, if we can, anything with a transport, to take back that point, and maybe the one on the left, although the one on the left we can just move forward to Luftwaffe Jäger. Oh, goodbye supply truck. And the mortar's here somewhere. There it is. Took a bit of damage from the supply truck blowing up. There we go. Job done. I'm going to move over to the left hand side now. Try and deal with that one. That's another Zuchok. Gonna need some supply trucks, I think. I got five more left off Jäger there. Okay, let's uh, bring these in. And we're going to have to bring in the supply trucks as well. <laughs> so that we can pick them up.
I really want to spot the mortar on top of the hill. I'm not sure where it's gone. And they're bringing in aircraft to attack the tiger there. Oh, that is going to be a PTRD. That's really irritating. <laughs> Right, we'll just leave that there. We cause a total defeat. I have no idea how that selected all of those, but it's fine. Gonna remind me that those are on the field. Let's keep pushing through there with those fusiliers, little squad. Going to kill those mortars for us. There's a mortar. Make sure we go kill that. This one will surely find the mortar on this right hand side. And hopefully, nothing else. Unless it's moved. Like it's moved. Maybe it's gone to the same position as the old one. I'm just going to leave that there so they can't spawn on that road. See what we find. Alright, this Gavardia in the open will take quite a bit of damage. I'm going to have to get my own Fusiliers into cover, that's for sure. Coming in with a strafe and run onto my tiger. How dare they. Oh, that's not good. Alright, time to fall back. That's a bit awkward. There's quite a lot of Strauki there. Oh, if they get bombed... Oh no. No. Oh, our little contingent of troops taken out. Alright, well, we tried. Two fusiliers are lost. That's fine. It could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. I just really want to kill this mortar. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. But I can bring my tiger into our line of sight. Of course, the Opal Blitz gets hit by the mortar. I'm just going to get this tiger to come all the way back. And we'll just speed things up. They might actually bomb this to death if I'm not careful. So I'm going to have this fall back and we'll have the pioneers kind of stay in cover there. Yeah, 
<laughs> I don't want to lose either of these tigers. They are the only tigers we have on the top side. Okay, great. Looks like we're all good. We did lose 120 mil there at the end. But otherwise, 194 kills to 5 losses. Our 5 losses were a 37 mil, a black 38, 2 fizzlers, and the Opal Blitz Munition. Oh, they got killed by a PTRS. Okay. Uh, there must have been a squad that snuck up close. That's okay then. I don't mind. I think it already unloaded the 20 mil, so... We didn't lose anything from that. They lost a nice chunk of Bostons. And PU2s. As well as that uh, initial unit, the 2nd Battalion of the 9th Guards Mechanized Brigade. They might end up being destroyed. Nope, they're just dis disorganized. <coughs> and it is our turn. I think. Uh, what happened here? I think our AA engaged the 9th Guards Fighter Regiment. Yeah. Yeah, that was our AA. They got rid of the air superiority over the top. Well, I think the air superiority is actually still there. Interestingly enough. And, for whatever reason, uh, none of these units got attacked at the front. Which is uh, quite something. So, potentially, we could set up attacks onto the 1436th self propelled artillery regiment and also the uh, 19th guards tank brigade i would very much like to go in on the 19th guards tank brigade with the 31st panzer regiment i think that would be pretty fun we could do a lot of damage to this front line again like if we just lead the charge every time with our heavy tanks uh we can just break down this top side so easy so that looks like it's going to be the attacks we make. Just double checking this top side. I'm assuming that can be reinforced by a lot of stuff. So we're not going to make any attacks per se. I need a unit that can go behind these guys. That's really annoying. Like I have the unit here on the top side. The 659th Fortress Battalion. They are there to reinforce the 2nd Battalion of the 34th Security Regiment because they are weakened. I guess Group Alenal and the 80th Flank Regiment can defend pretty well without uh, reinforcements. And they're not going to get attacked next turn anyway because the unit that's closest is disorganized. So next turn we'll probably get attacked here at the 36th Police Regiment. Maybe here at the 1st Battalion of the 34th Security Regiment. And maybe up here on the 2nd Battalion. We're not moving anything around Borisov. So let's make these attacks. Right, let's grab the 1st Battalion of the 31st Panzer Regiment. I'm going to bring in Battle Group Walter. And uh, we'll bring in the 3rd Battalion of the 350th. This might be kind of pointless. Actually, no, it's not. Not at all. These guys have trucks. Perfect. So, those three units can just pile on through here. We're going to be up against the 53rd Motorized Rifle Brigade, which has quite a lot of F-22s and mortars, so that could be quite frustrating. And they're also going to have the SC-76s, but everything else is fine. Uh, they could, of course, choose to bring in aircraft, uh, but we shall see. This could be quite a big battle, actually. I think they just went for the ground forces. So, this is going to be interesting. Loads of tanks. On both sides from the start. Is it Conquest? It is. This is going to be really fun. Okay. So, I'm just going to make sure... Uh, that I'm setting up things correctly. Uh, so, we will take a little bit of time to do deployment. Let's see. Just check in where the best places are on this map. I've played this map absolutely loads. I think this was one of the first maps that was introduced in the beta. 
So, have plenty of playtime on it. Uh, let's go ahead and put down a little panther crew for the right hand side. We'll have these two come through towards the center here. Uh, we'll want a couple to go onto the hill on the right, a couple to the left. I basically want to get in positions where we control high ground. But the left and right side engagements are going to want to be stacked because they're going to be close to range. Not that the Shermans are going to do too much, but the SU-76s might have decent penetration if I'm not careful. Uh, I'll also put the Recon Panthers on the right and left hand side. Because they are closer to the trees than usual. And then we can just use uh, Grenadiers because they have trucks. So let's go ahead and bring a couple of those in at each area. Have a bunch for the middle. I'll uh, probably have one to assist those two Panthers. And then we'll just have two for the hill. And one for the town. I'm going to unload these two early. Alright, let's go. They are going to have, I think, 90 points worth of stuff at the start. Which is a lot. We have 60 points worth. The reason they have 90 and we have 60 is because of the hard difficulty. Otherwise it would be the same. And they also have like have extra availability. And each of their companies with, with Shermans has like 27 each. And that, that's not including the leaders. I can't remember how many leaders they get. I think it's like 30. 30 in each. Like three leaders and then 27 um, Shermans. So that means they're going to have about 90 Shermans to bring in overall. Pretty ridiculous. But our Panthers will make short work of them at range. So that is absolutely fine. So far, this right side is opened up quite a bit. There's a very large amount of troops coming down the road there. They haven't really deployed much on the right. Interesting. Well, best bet here is just let my Panthers get into position. And we can shoot from up on top of the hill. I'm gonna move these grenadiers forwards. Right. After the initial engagement, things will get much easier. I shouldn't have let those grenadiers die. I could have saved them. That was a bit careless. As soon as I saw they were on 3 health, I should have just backed them out of that building. Here we'll just put these on reserve fire. I'm going to bring some grenadiers to come over the hill. Damn, that Panther D's. Getting well ahead of itself. Right, eventually we're going to want these panthers on the hill, so I'm going to give them that order now. They are transmission damage, so it's going to take them a little while. 
to get up there, but it's okay. Just going to bring in some Panthers to the center. Help support those troops. Looks like we bumped into a couple more Shermans there. Oh, one of ours actually got killed. The Panther D died. My recon Panther D. I think it probably got side shot. Oh no, it didn't. Must have been like a 3% chance. Or something very, very low. <laughs> that caused that. Alright, we'll have the uh, Grenadier move over to the right-hand side. Alright, the Panthers are in position on that hill, which is perfect. And we're going to need a couple more tanks on the left-hand side. Alright, this has been a pretty good engagement for us so far. We've just annihilated tons of Shermans. And we're getting into position now with our troops. I'm going to have the uh, Grenadiers start pushing more aggressively on the left-hand side. Unload these before they die early. And we're going to have these spread out, take the trees ahead of us. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to move up the Grenadiers to this town on the right-hand side, and then we'll just have the Panthers provide overwatch onto the spawn. Going to get a few more Panthers to come up here so that we can eventually come to the edge and shoot onto this road. Okay, let's move the uh, panther across here to provide extra fire. And that is not an engagement we want. Actually, maybe it would be okay. They don't have the HE grenades like they used to. So, I think we're fine. And these beautiful kills coming in. Look at that. All the burning wrecks. All those Shermans. The Panthers providing overwatch. Sniping those units. Beautiful. Yeah, the Grenadier one. Which is good. Alright, now we just have the Panther Gs come through. Uh, yeah, I thought I brought up a third. I was like, where's the other Panther G gone? <laughs> that would have been unfortunate if we'd lost the Panther G. But no, we're all good. We are all good. Eighteen to six at the moment. I might want to get some more infantry on this left hand side, so let's bring in a bunch of the Grenadiers to help push through there. I'm going to get these Grenadiers to use their Panzerfaust onto the BA-64. Let's move uh, these guys out of line of sight of this party there. Something shooting my panther from cover. 
I'm gonna guess it's a 45 mil. So we just want to keep front llama facing. These panthers, we're gonna have them take that hill. Right, the driver's knocked out, and so is the loader. We'll just have him reverse as soon as he can. And I'm going to get my Panther A to move up. Well then, that was an ambush. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> get these guys off. Wow, of course they targeted the only one I didn't unload. Alright. Well, if that's how they want to play it. We'll just get the Panther into cover. Be ready to pop them. We'll do our own ambush. Bring these all in from each side. Just turning off APCR. Pretty useless at that range. And we'll push up to the edge of the uh, edge of the hill there, whilst we can. Oh, it's actually this three was attacking us. All right, well, something to look out for, I guess. We've already won. Hasn't even reached phase B yet. It's like one minute left. So phase B is not really going to matter. There's panthers climbing in the hill there. Getting the high ground dominance in the center of the map. Very cool indeed. Tango Desaniki trying to get up close and personal. With my grenadiers, once they do, they will hurt. But yeah, we got the Panthers to the edge here now. So no more close range ambushes, hopefully. We did lose a couple of Panthers in this battle. Oh, well, saying that. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Shermans. How you doing? <laughs> I bounced off my Panther at pretty much minimal range. 10 minutes and 56 seconds. We lost 9. That's an Alcara Panther D and the Panther G there. That was an awesome battle. Enjoyed that. Fast and Furious. Loads of damage done. We killed 26 Shermans in that short amount of time. That is crazy. Boom. They are dealt with. So that has disorganized the self propelled artillery regiment and the 53rd motorized rifle brigade. And now what we're going to do is attack the 1436th self propelled artillery regiment and uh, wipe them out. That's just going to be a bunch of SU 85s. Uh, the SU 85 command there. Uh, also going to be backed up by the 87th and the 3rd Motorized Rifle Battalion, I would assume. I guess they could maybe be reinforced by aircraft, but I think all the aircraft were used in the end of the turn, so maybe not. Not sure. But we're doing fantastically well, guys. 32,000 score so far. Let's have a look at the deaths, because quite often I get asked to, to show these and I always forget. So let's just have a quick look at these. We got uh, 1,493 uh, soldiers lost. Is that 43 tanks and AT? That's on our side. And then we look at their side. 7,655 soldiers. 508 tanks and AT. 96 aircraft. That's incredible. Actually incredible. We've destroyed 25 b battalions so far. The only... Battalion they destroyed was the 860th Territory Infantry Battalion, which was unfortunate, maybe unnecessary, uh, but I think we used them maybe to uh, wipe out an enemy battalion that was worth more, so who knows. Anyway, 
We've certainly done plenty of damage so far, but unfortunately, guys, that has been my time. I am going to leave it here. In the next episode, we'll make that attack onto the 1436th self-propelled artillery regiment and continue breaking down uh, their forces north of Borisov while we set up a defensive line, which we sort of have. The 2nd SS Police Regiment is ready to dig in, and that's what we're going to order them to do next time around. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.